So another unboxing, and now you're going to show us the carbon footprint. Yeah, Go. it's right? yeah, it's not a wow tool, but I think it's uh, but the meaningful. You. Yeah. Um, so let me show you first. So we at the video department last uh, summer, so uh, 2019, we decided to um, with Facebook create a new, a new um, video series about, <clears throat> about um, ecological matter, global warming, biodiversity, and this kind of things. It's called Plan B. The idea is to talk about solutions and what people try to do to um, fight uh, those, um, those problems. And um, we actually, it's my colleague, uh, Charles, who came up with the idea um, that we had to show that our journalists were also concerned about what they're talking about. And we decided to uh, show at the end of every um, reporting, the carbon yeah. footprint of the, report, the reporting, the report that uh, people yeah. yeah, here, the bottom right, absolutely. And um, to, oop, I'm gonna show you yeah, and the I'll, tool. I'll add it to the stream again. To, um, Calculate that, uh, Charles just um, created, it's just a simple spreadsheet and you yeah. can find all the different uh, reports on the left part. Yeah. And you have, um, so the type of transportation that they use, you know, we love trains in France, um, subway, plane, etc. cetera. You, he also uh, uh, put into account the electricity that they use, the meals yeah. that they have, the battery, the electricity used by, you know, computers, cameras, and all that. Yeah. Uh, so that at the end of every reporting, the journalist would add the data so that we could have, you know, an idea yeah. of the carbon footprint. And so the travel kilometers by, by train or car and, you know, yeah, exactly. kind of you use to, to, to do the editing and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. Ah, and yeah. the idea was just to show that, well, the first one was to show that the viewers that we actually care uh, about what yeah. we're talking about. And the second idea was to um, learn from that and then maybe adapt the way we did um, our reporting. So for instance, yeah. they did try to you know take trains all the time, never take car, even though they had to a little bit, never take plane, even though they had to twice. And you actually yeah. realized in the total carbon footprint that the planes is the far, of course, worst. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, worse than anything. Yep. And um, and for instance, if um, you know how in journalism people want to go fast all the time, and usually they go somewhere in the morning and they come back in Paris, if you're Parisian, uh, yep. at night, they also decided um, most of um, more often than before to just you know pay for one night in in where where the people where the journalist was reporting, and make him come back with by train the day after even though that's yeah. not usually what you do, but just to yeah. be sure that he won't take the plane and he will, you know, that's yeah, okay, yeah. it will take more time, but that's fine with yeah. us. At, at least the carbon footprint is better. Yeah, so you get more conscious about your your productions yeah. in that sense, yeah. Interesting. And is this something you you are, uh, you are could share in the future? Not like your, your internal wiki might not be, yeah. but this is something, if other journalists at other newsrooms could be print or pure players think, we, I would definitely would like to use uh, uh, Olivier, but of course your colleague built it, um, the, the Le Monde carbon footprint calculator. Is it something you, you no, usually actually, these kind of things? Yeah, actually Charles created um, a public version uh, that ah. you can find online. Um, he wrote a small article explaining uh, why ah. they did that and how they did that. And he put um, uh, another version that people can actually use freely. Yeah. Cool. And uh, dear audience, I will share this in the show notes when the, the, the live recording is over. So thank you, uh, Olivier, for sharing this with us.